And out walks Bobby Lashley in a red leather suit like Daredevil. First we saw MVP. A few weeks go by. Hey, there's Shelton Benjamin. A few more weeks go by. Now we got Bobby Lashley. Didn't need to be rushed. It's better to always take your time. I thought this worked out great. Except the fact that people didn't see it because the overrun cut off. Tell them that they're paid by a car. We are going to review NXT Halloween Havoc. It is a PLE. It didn't feel very premium. It was on. It was a show that happened and I watched. We open with probably the best thing on the show, Tony D'Angelo versus Oba Femi. Tables, ladders, and scares. I thought the main event was tables, ladders, and scares. The main event was De- no. Devil's Playground. Oh, Devil's Playground. Yes. Oh, God. They both mean do whatever the fuck you want. I already screwed right. up. Yeah. Somebody on the chat said, are we going to talk about how high Booker T was? Wow. wow. Whenever I hear someone say something like that, I realize... You've never watched NXT before. It's like, dude, he was like tame compared to some of the shows that he did. He was he was Booker T. He's just Booker T. He's an acquired taste. I'll say. Sarah interviews Lexus King, looking for a corner man, and up steps of all people, William Regal offers to be his corner man. He knew Lexus's father well, knows the apple does not fall for far from the tree, especially when it comes to second generation wrestlers. But he will be in Lexus's corner to support him against Charlie Dempsey. This is the angle of 2024 so far. God. Slow year. And way, way, way up in the rafters. It's Zarya, brother. It's Zarya, brother. Yes. She punched through the wall. Now she is the wall. Crowd was chanting for pumpkins. They wanted yeah. some pumpkins, damn All it. night. Finally, Ridge picks up a pumpkin, holds it over his head, and they all go, yeah, it's a pumpkin. Very happy to see this pumpkin. Zombie Ridge reaches out dramatically from the ambulance door. You just see this hand. Ah, just dig ah, ah, just... I go right to the eyeball. Wendy Chu put this woman on a box live on national television. We are to believe spent five days moving this box around the nation. She pushed... was in the fucking luggage part of the plane. It's fucking ice cold there. Yeah. You can't live there. I certainly hope they sanitize that box. That's not going to be clean. I think that's got to be inducted into the Hall of Awful. This particular? The Tatum-Paxley Halloween Havoc 2024 skit Are you suggesting with Ava. we put Wendy Chew's box in the Hall of Awful? <laughs> God, fuck. Wait Dude, all in favor, say aye. Aye? aye. All right, it's in. One of the big matches for the mm-hmm. ECW show is going to be Bubba Ray and Trick Williams versus Ethan Page and Ridge Holland. I wonder who's going over. What a bizarre match. <laughs> it's quite strange. We had an LFI promo. Mm. And Jake Roberts was actually there. Excellent. All right. Roosh goes. <clears throat> points to fist. And then Trelisco and Mortos. <clears throat> they put the fists up. And there's a long pause. And then Jake goes. <laughs> I fucking died. Fucking died. Halloween edition of the Brian and Vinny and Granny and Craig and Sean show here. Hello, everybody. What's happening? If you're not watching along on video, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, lifeguard. Mm. I got my lifeguard shirt, my sunglasses, my zinc, my whistle. Please don't do that. I got a life-saving tube. I'm far out, man. Got my uh, lava lamp going in the back over here. I uh, ate an edible about an hour ago. I smell of patchouli and skunkweed. I'm having my spiders attacking me. What? <laughs> your spider is attacking you? Uh-huh. Your costume is you're oh, being yeah. attacked by a spider. I see it now. Huh. I'm a pickle. Excuse me? <laughs> I relish the fact that oh, I God. am a pickle. Oh, horrible. The, the costume actually says, like, 18-wheel trucker. Oh, yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I think I look like Chris Jericho. No. Huh? Joe Dirt. Yes. Joe Joe Dirt? Dirt. Mm. Absolutely. Interesting. Well, we got an exciting Halloween show here today. What are you, Pays? I'm a meerkat. A meerkat? And Hannah, what are you? A corgi. A corgi. You're the one that chose this. It's an 18-wheel trucker. You know what that is? No. I don't either. All right. Good job. Happy Halloween. Going to Harley Race's house to trick-or-treat as Ric Flair and my friend was Dusty Rhodes. He told my friend he wasn't fat enough to be dusty. <laughs> wow. One time I dressed up as comic book guy from The Simpsons, but I didn't want to paint myself yellow for reasons that I hope are obvious. Worst costume ever. <laughs> Dominic versus Priest. You watched last night's Raw? After a few more tortures, 
two guys came in. I think it was J.D. McDonald and Toledo. They- <laughs> I hear you laughing there, Vinny. The oh, whole, me. No, that was your How song. dare you, Vinny? How dare you? The whole city? Was that wrong? It's Carlito. Oh, I thought that's not the only words, one not. I got right. No. And the little gal that was outside, was it Lucy? <laughs> Dominic's girlfriend? Liv. Liv Morgan. Oh, Liv. Liv Morgan. I gotta go. The spider got me. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank God Jared cut away. <laughs> Very professional. <laughs> oh, she's all there. I got a quick a blood transfusion. Okay, excellent. Granny is in character. What's this called up here? Mullet. It doesn't Mullet. look like this on the package. This looks much better than the package. We'll say that. That's what she said. Worst costume ever. <laughs> How's that? Looks good, brother. Worst costume ever. And then we start to get... A Moxley Combat Club video, but an irate Orange Cassidy demands they stop it and storms down to the ringside. And is it where we all thought they were going pretty much after uh, Russell Dream? Orange Cassidy challenging John Moxley at full gear. I think that this is storyline and also real for John Moxley. Because I have this feeling that he also thinks these fucking guys are in the same place they were in five years ago. Like, the fuck's going on? And so I think he's doing a storyline, but he's also trying to actually get shit going with these guys as part of this storyline. Does that make sense? Adam Cole versus Buddy Matthews. I had a lot of problems with this match. Mm -hmm. Cole's coming back here. The first thing he does is show that his ankle's shattered. But the big mistake they made was when the doctor tried to stop the match, Adam Cole did say no. It's We're not stopping this match. But then he rolled out of the ring and the doctor started helping him to the back. And that's when the fans were like, that's not our hero. Mm. So he goes to cut his promo and they boo him. And he ends up shaking Buddy's hand and the people really want to see that. I'm not one of those guys that is like, you need to you know wear a suit. Remember when Vince was like, everybody needs to wear a suit to work? Yeah. But Mark Davis needs a better outfit. What in the fuck was this guy wearing? Mm-hmm. I didn't even think it was a fan hitting the ring because a fan would have been dressed better. I was just like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Darby descends from the Raptors just like Sting. He's brawling with Claudio. and I think they had a plan for the death, but it collapsed before they could do it. You can see that Darby realizes, fuck, this table's breaking. And so he tries to get off it, but as he's moving, it breaks further, and you just see his feet, he's like, ugh. And he just, he's like falling into quicksand slowly, but he can't stop it. I was dying. What a fucking match this was. I've been very critical. God. Of the build of Private Party, the promotion of Private Party leading up to this match. But you know what? It got here and God damn, this was great. When Nick finally gets pinned and Private Party wins the titles and don't have to break up, the place just exploded. Just fucking exploded. It's an overused term, but this was a star making moment. Private Party became stars in one night. After five years. Yeah. When he says that he is going to help take in Ring of Honor to the biggest stage, the most success it's ever seen. Uh, man, I think they are trying to get a Ring of Honor TV deal. Maybe they that's are. Why, uh, that's why Jericho ended up the champion. I don't know that for sure. I'm speculating. But I mean... They could try. Yeah. The Bucks fucking killed Tony Khan. So now Daniels is telling them... We need you? <laughs> they tried to fucking kill the boss. Oh, well, there's that. Yeah. What are you talking about? I, I don't know. That didn't make any sense whatsoever. Nor does it make sense that now, like, Daniels is still the interim VP or whatever. I assume... And Tony's fine. He's back. Well, yeah. That, this, that story, that's one of the worst stories AEW has ever done. So it is Swerve Strickland versus Shelton Benjamin. The lights go out. And out walks Bobby Lashley... <laughs> In a red leather suit like Daredevil. First we saw MVP. A few weeks go by. Hey, there's Shelton Benjamin. A few more weeks go by. Now we got Bobby Lashley. Didn't need to be rushed. It's better to always take your time. I thought this worked out great. Except the fact that people didn't see it because the overrun cut off. But one of these days, maybe they'll fix it. We also... <laughs> The definition of insanity. 
Wendy goes to win and slam the casket closed, but Tatum grabs the pillow to block the door from being shut. Stupid. Shoved. It's oh. like being thrown out of the Royal Rumble landing on a fucking pancake. It's stupid. You have to close the box. Like, it was closed. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It Don't pull closed. that semantic shit. Fucking lid was closed. Fucking pillow. God. Bubba says, I didn't do it to save you. I did it because Ridge Holland showed disrespect toward my radio show. He got so many busted open plugs. He, he worked hard. Four. He is a pro. Yes. He's a pro and a carny and a pro. So out come Julia, Stephanie Figur, and then the big surprise, Jordan Grace had an awesome match at Bound for Glory. Big giant brawl breaks out. This place is going nuts as the baby faces hit all their big moves and clean the ring. This whole segment ruled. They're having this great match when Wes Lee comes out. God. Javon Evans leaves to brawl with him. These idiot fans. Goddamn idiots. If you had only listened to this show instead of busting open, you'd have known what was going to happen. He's too young. He's got a feud with Wesley first. Then he's got to have Cedric Alexander turn on him for that feud. And then, you know, down the road, ways down the road, three, four years, it'll be his time. This is one of the best NXT matches of the year until that stupid finish. Yeah. As a television show, as a wrestling show, this thing ruled. 